Are you a senior homeowner wondering if you've missed your chance to release equity because of bad credit history? The good news is it's not too late. In this video, I'll talk you through the process of equity release and how your credit score impacts it. Bad credit equity release, part of a lifetime mortgage or home reversion plan, is a pathway to a more comfortable retirement, even for those with poor credit. While your credit history is considered, these plans don't require monthly payments, making them more accessible for seniors with bad credit. However, lenders will look at existing arrears and county court judgments, CCJs, court orders that you repay a debt. A CCJ can lead to a charging order on your property, and most lenders require these to be settled before releasing equity. Now, what if you have existing debts not secured by your property like credit cards or personal loans? You can still release equity, but be aware that the lender might insist on clearing your arrears with some of the funds. Many seniors use equity release to manage their debts while making retirement more enjoyable. However, it's crucial to distinguish between equity release and borrowing against your home equity in your younger years, as these require regular repayments and a more robust credit check. Your credit score does have an impact if you're considering a home equity loan. Even with a lower score, say 500, it's possible to get one, but you're likely to face a higher interest rate. Remember, don't fall for the offers from rogue lenders. Always stick with companies authorised by the Financial Conduct Authority. Let's get into the specifics of equity release plans like lifetime mortgages and home reversion plans. These are designed for senior homeowners who wish to release equity but don't want the burden of monthly repayments. The loan is repaid only after the homeowner passes away or moves into long-term care. However, these plans can double the amount owed, significantly reducing any inheritance that you might want to leave behind. If you're worried about what happens if you move property, lenders who are members of the Equity Release Council have rules allowing you to move your plan with you to a suitable property. But downsizing to a less valuable property might mean paying off some of your loan, potentially triggering early repayment costs. Short-term equity release might sound like a contradiction, given the nature of these loans. However, exceptions exist, like the enhanced lifetime mortgage for people with shorter life expectancies due to poor health. But for most, short-term equity release isn't feasible. Bad credit doesn't need to be a roadblock for equity release, but it's always crucial to consider your circumstances carefully before securing a loan against your home. Remember, equity release reduces the value of your estate and may impact your entitlement to certain benefits. Armed with this knowledge, you can now make an informed decision for your financial future. If you're interested in seeing if you could release equity, simply click the link below and fill out the short form. It contains a few questions like your property value and date of birth and will give you access to quotes tailored to your circumstance. It's totally free to fill out and of course won't affect your credit score. Click the link below and fill out the short form to try it out.